These days professional audio and video programs are becoming increasingly more complicated and involved. There's so many options, so many things you could do. Uh, one trick I'm going to teach you today to help keep yourself consistent and organized as well as save you a lot of time is working with templates. And we wonder where and why it went. Once you've worked long enough with Nuendo, you're going to get a feel for how many instrument tracks you use, how many MIDI tracks, and how many plugins you use, etc. So once you get to that point, rather than setting that all up each time, just do a save as template right in the file menu there's save save as and save as template that's all there is to it um, of course the way I recommend doing it is just to open up a, a new Nuendo project um, so that has no audio files in it then set up the tracks and plugins and groups uh, set everything up the way you usually end up and then save that as a template and then when you when you start and open a new project it'll give you that option and just save it with the name you want to use. Second tip is automation. I'm going to show you how to automate and this is a neat feature found in Steinberg, Cubase, and Nuendo, and I'm sure in the other recording programs as well, like Pro Tools. So, I've got a little song here. Whatever. Um, I'm going to automate this kind of ethereal background pad synth stuff I have going on. Here's what that sounds like. So it's just this high pitched thing and to create some good ambiance or psychedelia I'm going to automate the track. Uh, I'm going to make it pan left and right how I want it to and if you notice if we've got the correct track that we want to mess with highlighted then we'll have the track information over here. and you'll see R and W. This is read and write. You have to write first. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on W for write and then we're just going to hit play and while it's playing I'm going to manually move the panning feature left and right and then uh, if, I, if I didn't like it I can just hit stop, go back, and do it again. As soon as I like it, I can unselect write and click read, and it'll do that for me. So here I'm going to show you. I'm going to click write, hit play, start panning it. Okay stop it. Now I'm going to hit read and this time I'm not going to do anything except hit the play button and you will see this move because it recorded what I did. There it goes. I'm not doing anything. This is stuff you've heard Jimi Hendrix's guitars do is walk through your head from left and right pretty fun feature. Uh, another place I like to use it is the end of the song. So I've put the cursor near the end of the song where I want to start fading it out. And I'm going to, this is the, the master track over here. I'm going to click right, hit play. And just do a nice slow fade. and stop it and put it on read and it'll do that for me now 
Behold, you can read and write in de delay or in any plugin uh, that has the R and the W in it. So let's modify this a little bit so that. Alright, so let's put it. Turn the mix way down, maybe on the delay, then hit re right. I'm going to start playing. So now there's no delay on there, but maybe right before I get to the next part of the next change in the song, start turning it up. Way you can get some interesting and see I put it back on read. Now you can get some it's not gonna be starting until around here. Nice way to create some transitions.